YouTube. What's good, guys? It's your boy T, and I'm back again with another video for Fantasy Good Sports, guys. And we almost there. Yes, guys, we got a couple more days before the season starts. So listen, today's video is going to be on five sleepers that no one is talking about that you can put in your lineup for week one. I said what I said. Five sleepers. Uh-oh. So guys, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe to this channel. This is cutting edge content. So, guys, the first sleeper that you can start in your week one lineups, guys, yes, week one, I said what I said, is Alec Pierce from the Indianapolis Colts. Now, listen, the reason why I like Alec Pierce is Michael Pittman and AR-15 don't fit together. Anthony Richardson is a great deep ball guy. He's accurate on his deep balls. If you look at Florida when he was in college, he hit on a lot of good deep balls, but in immediate, he struggled. So the first game of the season, he's going to struggle. But going deep to Alec Pierce, which is Alec Pierce's specialty, not Michael Pittman, I believe that Alec Pierce is going to have a good game, guys. I really believe that because he's a great deep threat. He doesn't separate, but he's a jump ball guy. So, guys, put Alec Pierce in your flex if you're looking to say, well, who should I start in my flex, in my number two flex spot? Alec Pierce. All right, guys, moving on to my number two guy. Yes, guys, my number two guy is Juju Smith-Schuster. Yes, I said what I said, Juju Smith-Schuster. Listen, guys, Juju's the only thing that the Patriots got as a pass guy that I can trust, as a, as a pass catching guy that I can trust. I don't trust no Taekwon Thornton, which is I don't even think he's playing this game. Guys, I'm not trusting none of these other wide receivers. They just not, they don't have enough experience for me to go and trust them. Even uh, Kendrick Bourne, I don't trust him. But Juju, he's not an upper echelon talent guy at this point, but he is solid and you can rely on him. So I believe he's going to get the most targets in the passing game, him and Hunter Henry. But Hunter Henry is a tight end. But far as wide receiver, I would play Juju as a flex play. Not a wide receiver one, not a wide receiver two. But a wide receiver three or a flex play, I feel good about Juju, guys. Just Juju on this Patriots team. All right, guys. <coughs> Excuse me. Going forward, let me get a drink. Okay, going forward, guys, to my next player is Raheem Mostert. Yes, guys, Raheem Mostert from the Miami Dolphins. The reason why I like Raheem Mostert, Jeff Wilson could be out for the rest of the season. He could be out four or five games. He's at least going to be out the first four games because he's on the PUP list. I said what I said. He's on the pup list. And the reason why, guys, I like Raheem Mostert, this offense is going to be getting in the green zone a lot. This is one of the most efficient offenses in the league. So who's going to get the carries when they get on the goal line or the green zone? It's going to be Raheem Mostert. They're not just going to throw it to Tyreek Hill and Jalen Water every single time. So I believe Raheem Mostert guys can have one fall-in touchdown and he can catch five passes. To me, that's a RB2 flex play guy. This is a sleeper. A lot of people are on this guy because he's a limit. He's process of elimination. No other guys there. But I still want y'all guys to know, if you see Raheem Mostert, you need to be trying to get this guy in your lineup. He's a sleeper this week over some of your guys that are probably your original starters. You might want to play Raheem Mostert. So, guys, moving on to my next guy. And if you watch the whole video, guys, I got a bonus guy for you. So the next guy, guys, is Tutu Atwell. I said what I said, guys, Tutu Atwell. And the reason why I like Tutu Atwell, Cooper Cup is not going to probably play the first two to three weeks of the season. So everybody's going to Puka, Puka Nakua, Ben Sharani, Tyler Higby, Tyler Higby. No, it's going to be Tutu. The boom. Remember, you try to get some boom. So if it ain't Cooper Cup, don't try to get nobody to give you no, no consistent points like no Van Jefferson. I'm trying to get some boom. Do I believe that Van Jefferson is going to have a better opportunity to boom over 2-2? No, because everybody's going to be sleeping on 2-2. That's why this is a sleeper video. Uh-oh. This is a sleeper video. So, guys, I like 2-2 at well. Put this guy in your flex as a sleeper this week for week one. I said what I said. Okay, okay guys, moving on to my next guy. Let me get another drink. My next guy, guys, that I like is Sam Howell. Yes, guys, Sam Howell from the Washington Commanders. And listen, they playing against Arizona. Arizona, they don't want to win a game. They want Caleb Williams. They want to trade Tyler. 
So go ahead and ride that out. Play Sam Howell. Let him throw it to Jahan Dyson and give it to Antonio Gibson. And also hand it off to Brian Robinson. Let him catch a couple passes. And if Terry McLaurin plays, let him throw it to Terry. And Sam Howell could finish as a top 12 or a quarterback this week because, hey, process of elimination. He's playing against the weakest defense in the league. that got rid of Isaiah Simmons. So, guys, I'm playing Sam Howell if I'm playing the working the waiver wire for my quarterbacks. If I got a lower tier quarterback, I might play Sam Howell, guys, over some of my bottom-tier quarterbacks, like over AR-15. If you worried about AR-15, then go ahead and play Sam Howell. I'm okay with that. So, all right, guys, last but not least, this guy's a tight end. He's from the Denver Broncos, and it's Greg Dotris. Yes, guys, I said what I said. It's Greg Dotris. The reason why I like Greg Dotris because Jerry Judy's out. Tim Patrick's hurt. Courtney Sutton and Marvin Mims is not going to get all the targets. They're not going to throw it to Samar P. Ryan nine times. Javante Williams is not really a pass catcher back. Excuse me. He's not going to play that much. So I believe that Greg Dolch is going to get seven to eight targets this game. Now, is he going to have seven to eight catches? No. But I believe he's going to get seven to eight targets. And if you're looking, if you're streaming to top, the streaming tight end, Greg Dolch is the guy that I'm okay. You no, know, I'll play Greg Dolch this week while Jerry Judy out. So, guys, play Greg Dolchers. I think he's going to have opportunities that other people not think he's going to have. So, guys, yes, play him. So, guys, thank y'all for tuning in to Fantasy Good Sports. Make sure you hit the like button and subscribe to this channel. This is Cutting Edge Content. Also, guys, if you want to support the channel, go to the description box, and the links is down there, guys, where you can join as a member. And, guys, if you join as a member, I've got a listen league that I'm drafting before Thursday, before the game. So, if you want to play against me, sign up as a membership tier, as a Pro Bowl tier or better. And you can play against me. Also, guys, I'm going to be giving away prizes. So you want to sign up as a Pro Bowl tier or better, too. That way I'm going to be giving out prizes for guys all out through the season. And you can come up here and chop it up with me on a live. And if you just want to support the channel, guys. So, guys, thank y'all for tuning in. Y'all be safe. Peace.